Hello guys, welcome to Physics Insight and in this particular video, we are going to talk about quantum mechanics. Quantum mechanics or quantum physics, whatever you want to say. Quantum physics is the part of physics that describes the properties of smallest things like molecules, atoms and subatomic particles. Let us take electron as an example. In quantum physics, we describe electron as a wave, not as a particle. So electron can't be pictured like this. Instead, it should be like this. And we call this as wave function. But this is not a real physical wave, like a sound wave. Wave function can be complex, means it will have real part and imaginary part. We can say wave function is the mathematical way to represent the state of electron. To determine the properties of electron like position, momentum, we have to do mathematical operations. Like if we are interested in finding the position of electron, we have to take the square of the amplitude of the wave. This gives us probability distribution, means position of electron is not certain and is determined in terms of probability. And to find the eigenvalue of momentum, we have to operate this mathematical operator. Sounds good? If your answer is yes, then you have not pay attention. Okay, let me tell you what I am talking about. I mentioned electron position is determined in terms of probability. But when we observe the electron, it looked like just a particle. So what is happening here? Is anything wrong? Here there are two things about electron. It is wave before measurement and after measurement it is a particle. Does it mean there are two different worlds? First quantum world where it is like a wave and second classical world where it is like a particle. Classical is what we observe means it is a world after measurement and this thing results in the wave particle duality. To know more about this, you can see the video on double slit experiment. You will find the link to this video in the description and also in the i button. So let's come back again. Before measurement, electron is in superposition state. This thing can be explained by Schrodinger cat experiment, which concludes that if we have a cat in a box with poison, then we can't predict whether the cat is alive or dead inside the box before seeing it. Till this point, we have superposition of two states and after observation, this wave function collapses, and we get to know whether the cat is alive or dead. So this is the Schrodinger cat experiment. And from this, we can say that superposition exists till the point we measure. After measurement, the superposition is not present and there is only a one state. Like in the Schrodinger cat experiment, either the cat is alive or dead. Both things not possible simultaneously. So after measurement, our wave function collapses. This is what I want to say. Now let's come to another thing, quantum tunneling. If we have electron inside our infinite 1D potential well, it is not possible for electron to penetrate the wall. But if we have finite potential well, then there are chances that electron can penetrate the wall, which is not found in the classical world. You can see this thing in detail in this video. You will find the link to this video in the description or in the i button. Now let's come to the next thing, quantum entanglement. It is a physical phenomena which occurs when a pair of particles interact in such a way that quantum state of the pair can't be described independently. Quantum entanglement represents the relationship between the fundamental property, means knowing the measurement like spin of one particle we can predict the spin of other particle and this prediction doesn't depend upon the distance between the two particles. Information will be shared and we can always predict about the state of the second particle. You can see the video for more details. You will find the link in the description or in the i button. And till this point of time you are thinking quantum physics is just crazy and it's true. In fact, it's not easy to visualize the quantum physics in the first time. It takes time. And now we are over for this video. If you like the video, don't forget to hit the like button and do subscribe to the channel. Hope to see you guys in the next video.